are we going to do today? <laughs> I will take you along a trip to discover the future of nanotechnology. This will be a philosophical experiment integrating play, theater, and reflection debate. And I will not do this alone. We have three amazing actors. They are standing over there. Please uh, join me on stage. Here we have André, Maaike and Rutger. So the future of nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a converging technology that combines biology, electronics, physics, chemistry, etc. But it also has societal aspects, infrastructural aspects, politics. So imagine the future. What kind of problem would you solve? Nanotechnologists think about these kind of problems. So for example, uh, monitoring and diagnosing and intervening into your uh, health and well-being by having automated nanorobots patrolling your body, measuring the values of substances in your blood and directly taking action. But first a bit about nanotechnology, since you will probably not all be physicists. So uh, nanoparticles are really small, one to 100 nanometers. You can think of it like this. The distance in scale from a soccer ball to the earth is the same distance in scale from a soccer ball to a nanoparticle. So that's about how small it gets with nanotechnology. So what we are going to do uh, now is look at a scene, or actually look at two scenes. Here we will see a conversation between a patient and a physician nowadays. And here we will see a conversation between a patient and his smart device in the future, let's say 2040. The only suggestion that I need for them to get uh, to work is what kind of vague complaints are those people uh, suffering from? For example, diarrhea or something completely else. Hair loss. Hair loss. <laughs> okay. We yeah. see two scenes, one in the, pa in, in the now, one in the yeah. future. Hi, doctor. Hi, welcome. <laughs> I was just waiting in the hallway for like 40 minutes, but I'm here. Yes, yeah. we, we are getting faster and faster every <laughs> okay, time. Okay, thank you so much. So yeah. I hope you like the magazines. Yeah, the Donald Duck was great, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So tell me, what's, what's up? Well, maybe you have seen it, but I've lost some hair. I'm yes. just a bit, a little bit, um, yeah, it's on my pillow all over the place, so yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a bit yeah, awkward. Yeah. Yes, so what do you think yourself that might be causing this? I, th I thought it was stress because of my wife's period, but it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know, yeah, yeah don't I really know. don't know, that's why I'm here. I was Googling it, but it's just cancer, but I don't want that, oh, so, okay. uh, yeah. Well, it can be anything, <laughs> oh, you know, no. yeah. so we'll have yeah. to do a lot of examination yeah. on you. Okay, what do we have this morning? Um, yes, I did my exercises this morning for a change. I know, I know. So I see that it's already getting up. Okay, well done. I don't want a picture of myself behind, especially not under my skin. Um, uh, okay. So what's the result of today? You mean? I lost 150 hairs <laughs> last night. We'll take some blood okay. samples and then and go. We'll, uh, break into it. Uh, so please answer this question. What is the biggest difference that struck you between these two scenes? Time. Sorry? Time. Time. Explain. So you get continuous and uh, direct <laughs> feedback. Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, yes, good morning. Uh, thank you for calling. Yes, mom. Yes, it, uh, I know you are you are plugged into my device and uh, my nanobot. Uh, so don't worry, mother. It's only 150 hairs. I'm waiting for my ma my medical expert to call me. And um, so, but it, uh, you're very quick. Don't worry. I'm not getting bold already. Yes, thank you. I, I must hang up because my specialist is going to ring any moment. Yes, mother. No, 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 I'm not worrying. I'm totally at ease. Don't worry. 
Okay, so I'm coming in between uh, again. Uh, who, which of the patients uh, knows more, has more control over the situation? What do you think? Uh, if you say uh, the patient now, you raise your hand uh, after three, one, two, three. And if you say the patient in the future has more control, you raise your hand after three, one, two, three. So, divide it. But can you get the neighbor, baby, maybe? Because I need uh, Hi daddy! Hi daddy! What are you doing? I like buttons. Ah no! Please! No. I got 200 milligrams of vitamin B injected on Mama! Mama! What? What? Just push the button some more. Okay, so uh, the patient of the future. Is he still managing his care healthcare? <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Or not? What do you think? No. Ah. Doesn't look really smart. <laughs> the device doesn't look really smart. <laughs> and maybe the patient of the future also. <laughs> so if, uh, this is this. If, if I have to make a decision, then I I want advice because I'm not going to press yeah, this. That kind of but the. Yeah. <coughs> so, uh, I think it, you're right, this is of course a theatrical version of reality, more absurd, but it touches uh, the question, how smart do you have to be to operate this? I think what we've just uh, seen here, in a glimpse of uh, the nano at large uh, theatrical debate, uh, that uh, nanotechnology is ambiguous in the sense that it contains opportunities and dilemmas. Will we become more free or less free? At least we will have to learn how to deal with it, and that's uh, what we hope uh, to contribute to. So thank you very much for your active <laughs> attention.